Hey everybody, this is Doug Knacker from Hissy Fit Reptiles and it's been long overdue for me to do a video for you guys, show you guys some of the stuff that's going on here at Hissy Fit Reptiles and this video is the epic unboxing video and I say that because I show you guys six separate unboxings that I did throughout 2019. So every 2019 unboxing I've done so far compiled in this one video. I haven't shown any of these except for the first one, uh, but that one I just took off of YouTube so now it's on here. So I brought in some really cool animals, some really cool ball pythons from these breeders, Herp Etc, Milbrat and Campanetto Pythons, Goodies Exotics, CV Exotics, SOS Amador, and Ozzy Boyds. Some really cool stuff, so make sure you check out what's going on here. In the meantime here, before I get to that, I want to let you guys know kind of why I haven't been doing the videos for a while, what's been going on with me personally, and uh, n nothing too boring or anything, but uh, one thing I wanted to do was kind of work on myself, work on my marriage, work on just kind of everything that I should have been working on and prioritizing over the ball pythons, and I haven't. Um, kind of was putting uh, a lot of other stuff first, and you know I needed to kind of like take a step back, reset things for a while, redo things, you know, just get, just get myself back in the groove of of, of of getting my family back to get you know like not get back together, but getting my family going. Um, working on that kind of stuff so uh, I've been making a lot of improvements in my life with that so um, actually I started uh, working out and eating better again and I've already chopped like 25 pounds so so I'm, I mean I got a ways to go uh, I was kind of packing them on for a while there and uh, yeah I've been doing I just started doing the insanity workout uh, I've done it before and it was amazing it worked um, however I kind of got just stopped caring or whatever Put on a lot of weight and uh, now I'm kind of cutting back into it and still getting back into it. Really excited about that. Excited about the ball pythons. Uh, also want to let you guys know that um, I have seven clutches already for this season. I haven't shown a single one of them on YouTube yet. One of the clutches actually like before I even posted anything um, on YouTube or anywhere else uh, people already knew about what I was hatching and the whole clutch pretty much sold except for the one that I kept and that was I had five red stripe pet clowns. I'm going to show you guys a video of that future here. I'm going to try getting more videos out to you guys. I have a lot of stuff recorded but I just really haven't had the time to edit things and with all the stuff going on in my life and everything so but I hope to get back on track with that kind of stuff. Uh, like I said I have some really cool clutches coming here and also about the clutches coming and not sure if you're aware of this, but I've actually been in the ball python game now for about 10 years. This is actually, this September will be 10 years of me getting into ball pythons. Actually, October will be when I got my very first ball python ever, a bumblebee ball python female from Garrett DeMeyer at Royal Constructed Designs. And that kind of changed a lot of stuff for me as far as, uh, as I, this hobby goes and everything. So I've uh, been really... Uh, it doesn't seem like I've been in it that long, and if it doesn't for you guys, it's because probably because I had to sell a bunch of my stuff at one point in time from losing my job, and uh, before I started to rebuild stuff back in 2014, 2015, before I started rebuilding stuff again. So it's been kind of a long process. Um, however, to celebrate 10 years of being in the ball python game, it's going to be a good thing for you guys, and actually, depending on how many things you follow of mine, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on each of my social media things, except for Twitter. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on YouTube, giveaway on Instagram, giveaway on Facebook, and a contest on Patreon. I can only do a contest on Patreon because I'm not legally allowed to give away a snake only to people who pay, and because people pay for the membership or for the, the pledge to, to support me on Patreon. I have to do contests with them, and that is totally legal. So um, it's kind of cool, though. I've been doing a couple different things. We did like a March Madness bracket thing, which is pretty cool. And uh, probably for this one coming up, I'll probably be doing like guess the weight. Like I'll weigh like five, six, ten of my ball pythons or whatever, and then uh, the people will guess what the co total combined weight uh, weight is, and then whoever is closest without going over will win. That'll be like the contest. Um, but for for YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, it'll be like one of the random comment generators or one of the random uh, generator pickers that picks the winner. So I'll have more information on that later on, so make sure you stay tuned. And it's gonna be probably in September after all these clutches hatch. 
because uh, most of these clutches should hatch uh, this month and next month. So I'm expecting like highway stuff, gravel spark stuff, desert ghost stuff, red stripe combos, uh, some really cool stuff. So you're probably going to have a chance to win some of that kind of um, ball python combos in some of these giveaways. So make sure you're subscribed to YouTube, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, and if you'd like to get in on the Patreon thing, and that Patreon, I actually I do giveaways about, or I'm sorry, contests about every other month or every three months, depending on how many people I have. The more people I have, the more often I do a giveaway or a contest on there. So check it out. Uh, I do post exclusive stuff on Patreon, and I don't really talk about that much anymore. I kind of got some flack for it, but I'm not charging. People aren't paying me for information. People aren't paying me to talk to me. People aren't paying me for that little piddly stuff. They're paying for the membership, but they're also getting exclusive stuff, and I have more exclusive stuff coming to Patreon. So uh, hopefully you guys, if you're interested, check it out at uh, patreon.com slash hissyfitreptiles. Uh, but definitely follow me on Instagram because I've been posting a lot of stuff on Instagram over the last few months. Um, it's, it's easier for me to take a picture of something, post it on Instagram, and, and show you guys than it is for me to record and re-record and re-record and record again certain things that I'm doing here and then go and edit stuff and, and spend all the time doing that when I'm trying to work on other things uh, but I am going to try getting more time to do that uh, I say this a lot and I've said it before so if you don't believe me that's fine I wouldn't believe me neither but I am going to try to make an effort towards that however keep in mind priorities first I am always going to put my mom my, my mom and dad I'm always going to put my wife and my kids and stuff first, and I, I kind of slacked on that for a while, and I realized that, took a step back from myself and looked at how I was leading my life, and it's like, you know what, I need to focus on them before I focus on you guys. No offense, but it's just really important to me that um, you know I put a lot of effort towards them first. But I still love you guys, still want to show you guys some stuff. These snakes that I'm going to show you in these unboxings are some amazing ball pythons, so I hope you enjoy. This is Hissy Fit Reptiles. These are Reptiles Remixed. All right, everybody, the first unboxing of the year. You see it says M Pied Female on there, so you're probably wondering what's going on with that. All right, so I got this from Carson with um, Herbs, etc. And this is a nice female. Maybe uh, you can tell what it is. If not, it's a female mahogany pied. Really nice looking girl here. A female mahogany pied. So this is uh, going to be a key for doing the suma pied stuff. As well as hopefully... <laughs> so hopefully it's... Uh, going to be getting other stuff mixed in there as well um, with some breeding plans that I have going on for the next couple of years before this girl's up to size. So uh, actually it looks like there's a little uh, face on here as well. I didn't really realize that in the pictures, but not quite a full on happy face emoji, but kind of like a little emoji nonetheless. Nice coloration here. Nice darks, as you can see, kind of bordering of the telltale mahogany pied. Now, I like how this one is a little bit more patterned than some of them. You see a lot of mahogany pieds that I've seen for sale anyways are a lot more high white. Um, this is still pretty high white, but not, not as much. This is kind of nice amount of patterning, which I like. So really, really awesome. Thanks, Carson. Uh, man, she looks awesome. Can't wait to get her up to size and, and plugging in some stuff in there, making some really cool mahogany pied and super mahogany pied stuff in the future. Very, very nice. Hope you guys enjoy. 
There's a lot more stuff to come this year here from Hasty Fit Reptiles, that's for sure. I'm doing an unboxing today, so let's see what we got. And he looks awesome. This is a male. This right here is an orange dream clown male. An orange dream clown. Again, he's a male. Really nice. Really, really nice um, blushing here along the dorsal stripe. Awesome looking head and head pattern. Really nice boy to have in a collection. So, as you can guess, he's going to be going to some pretty nice females here in the future. Uh, one of them that I don't have yet, but it's a proven breeder. And that will be like a nice, I'll be a nice one. I'm going to keep that one kind of on the down low. This is a little bit of a surprise for when you guys see her. When I get her in probably in about a month or two. Um, she just laid her clutch of eggs, so the person I'm getting her from is going to get her back on food and stuff before I get her, along with another one, so uh, two breeder females I'm getting from this guy, a well-known person in the industry, the hobby. So this is going to go to one of those girls, as well as my Orange Dream Yellow Belly female, so I'm going to be breeding this Orange Dream Clown to my Orange Dream Yellow Belly. So I can hopefully get super orange dream yellow belly head clowns to go along with like my red stripe stuff and my uh, other clown combos and, and pairings that I have going on. Uh, this next season actually is going to be really clown heavy, just so you know. So I'm going to focus on the desert ghost stuff. Also going to be pretty heavy into the clown uh, combos and, and hats and stuff like that. So, man, this boy, this is awesome. Really, really cool. Let me show the YouTube people. Gosh, this camera's like upside down, so. Nice orange dream clown male. From Milbrit and Caponetto Reptiles. Alright, so we have a couple ball pythons to unbox here. A uh, project that I'm excited to work with here. So both of them have to do with the same project. Uh, just different, uh, different overall animals. This one came from... Goodies Exotics, Jason Goodwin, worked with uh, Jennifer a lot on this uh, on this transaction, but uh, Jason is the owner, really excited about this thing here. So this right here is a jungle woma, possibly a super jungle woma, which would be a puzzle back. She is 100% het hypo and possible het pied. So, um, so if you're not aware of what jungle woma is, this has nothing to do with hidden gene woma, and this has also nothing to do with the regular woma. This is a completely different morph. Um, nothing at all like any of the other Woma stuff. So this is a jungle Woma. Also has nothing to do with pastel. A lot of people might um, recognize you know, jungle pastel being the original name for pastel stuff and then they just kind of drop the jungle off of it. But this is a jungle Woma. 100% het hypo. Possible het pied. And it's possibly a super jungle Woma which is called a puzzle back. It's just based on some of the patterning and coloration and stuff of her. And then Puzzle Back has nothing to do with the recessive gene Puzzle. So it's kind of, um, so if you can see here, this is kind of like some of the attributes of a Puzzle Back. Some of this really cool patterning and stuff. Um, however, the coloration, from talking to Jen, 
Uh, the coloration is a little bit different than a typical puzzle back. So, um, so um, I'll probably ask around and see if anybody else maybe has some insight on it. But otherwise, we'll hold. Obviously, she's going to be um, kept here for breeding and and see what happens. And if everything she produces is jungle woma, every time we breed her, then we'll have to figure she's probably a puzzle back. <laughs> Um, you see here too some really the really cool head stamp here, the way that it comes up over here, and then um, nice little coloration here, a little bit of blushing on the head. So really really nice. She looks awesome. Thanks Jennifer and Jason for this awesome awesome female jungle woma possible puzzle back. Again that's the super jungle woma. So it's possibly that. What's 100% head hypo and possible head pied. Definitely be doing some really cool stuff with her going forward. Put her back in for now while I open up the other one. So this right here is from CV Exotics. Wow, that is awesome. Way hey, better than the pictures even. So this right here is a banana jungle woma 100% het clown male. Banana jungle woma 100% het clown male. Very cool, really cool looking pattern. This is awesome looking. Well, the pictures definitely didn't do this thing justice at all. So thank you, Scott from CV Exotics. Some really nice looking stuff here. Um, so what I'm hoping to do is breed this into my clown stuff. Get some visuals, some visual jungle woma clowns hopefully some with banana in them and then eventually breed that stuff back to that female that I just got so boy it's a really nice coloration very clean so jungle woma besides adjusting the pattern a little bit it's also somewhat of a cleanup gene so as you can see too it's really nice and clean here a nice little white outline here Man, it's really a really, really cool looking snake. And this is just het clown. So once you get this into the actual clown, it's going to really pop. Some really nice coloration on, on visual clown stuff. So cannot wait. And then you could see too a really cool head pattern, head stamp. Jungle Woma, banana, 100% het clown. Very, very cool jungle woma stuff here at Hissy Fit Reptiles. So, very excited to be working with this gene. I think it's going to um, be some really cool stuff that's going to end up coming out of it here in the future. So, stay tuned for some jungle woma stuff here. And I'm hoping to have some stuff probably next year if this male's up to size and breeding some of the stuff that I have coming up. And uh, the female, in the meantime, she's over 400 grams, I believe. So it shouldn't be too, too long. Not next year, but a season after probably. Hopefully I can get some stuff going with her. All right, so I have a unboxing for you guys again. So this is a snake I got from SOS Amador. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It's from Stan Ordonez. So this is gonna be a really nice looking snake. That's all I can say right now. really intense coloration wow on this boy this is the nicest one I think I've ever seen this right here is a firefly clown look how intense that coloration is that yellow wow he is amazing here in person Seeing him in pictures it was awesome. 
now that he's here and he's in person, that is nice. And he's got a few hundred grams on him. I think he's around 300 grams or so, 400 grams almost. So hopefully you guys can see how awesome that is. Firefly Clown, it's a simple fire pastel clown. But that is intense. This boy is gonna be put to some of my females and he is gonna be making some awesome clown combos and some awesome hats. So, really excited on what I'm able to do with this boy here. Thank you very much, Stan. This boy is awesome. Very cool. All right, everybody. Got a big unboxing today. This is from Ozzy Boyd's. I got two really big snakes in here. Two adult females. Really excited about these. Uh, gonna do some really cool stuff with them, hopefully, in my breeding collection. Got some Ozzy Boyd stuff here. Business cards, stickers. All that kind of stuff. Mini stickers. Got an Ozzy Boyd's t shirt. Be wearing that, it shows. So, this right here This right here is a big Pastave Clown female. A Pastave Clown female. She just laid nine eggs for him a couple months ago and they hatched. He had a I believe it was a Batman to this girl. It has some really cool Pastave Batman stuff. So if you've seen Ozzy Boyd's um, Instagram stuff and Facebook stuff that he posts, um, if you saw like the Pastave Batman stuff that he had on there, um, this was the mother of that clutch. So, so nice Pastave clown female. She laid nine eggs for him this season. So... Um, back on food again and everything so she'll be doing some pretty good stuff here I'm gonna have some pretty big plans for her for this coming season uh, nice big girl here really really nice pastave clown female put her back in here for now this next one it's also Big female that just laid nine eggs for him a couple months ago. Actually, I'm not sure if those eggs have hatched yet. Um, maybe they did. I can't remember now. I have to take a look again. But this girl is awesome. This is um, a snake I've actually been looking at for a long time. I actually didn't think I realized that I was even getting the same exact snake. I gotta verify the Aussie that says the same exact one that I was looking at, but. This right here This right here is a high intensity super orange dream fire spider female. Again, and she laid nine eggs for him just recently. That this snake is awesome. High intensity Super Orange Dream Fire Spider. The thing is nice and clean. That is an awesome looking snake. Very, very nice. High quality animals here from Ozzy Boyd's. So this is part of um, one of the original uh, Super Orange Dream stuff that he had produced. This is from back in like 2012 
And he is getting all the really awesome Orange Dream stuff. This is one of the originals. So, piece of history right here. I think this one, if I, if I, based on like the markings and stuff, if you go in World of Ball Pythons and type in Super Orange Dream Fire Spider Yellow Belly, I believe this one is what was pictured there. Then I think maybe, and I gotta verify this with Ozzy, but, um, it must have been where he determined there was no yellow belly in it. Instead, it wasn't yellow belly. It was one of the high intensity orange dream from um, the selective breeding line of stuff. So, uh, I did an interview with him in uh, a different video. So, if you want to go check out uh, that video, he talks about the high intensity line of orange dream. So, really, really awesome stuff. Nice, clean female here. Very, very nice. Very excited to get these into my breeding collection. Again, this is a high intensity Super Orange Dream Fire Spider. Thank you very much, Ozzy. These snakes are awesome. They're going to be getting some uh, nice pairings this coming season and for future seasons here at Hissy Fit Reptiles. Really big stuff going on here. Well, uh, some big plans coming, so thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. All right, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed those unboxings. There were some amazing-looking ball pythons in there, so I'm really excited to get going on all this cool stuff in my collection. Uh, really excited for the next one, two, three breeding seasons I got coming up because some really cool things are going to put into place and um, some stuff that's already been done, but there's also some stuff that hasn't been done, and hopefully I can kind of get a notch up on it before some other people do. So some stuff is uh, kind of hush-hush, other stuff, you know, you wanna to talk to me about what I'm doing for my breeding plans, go ahead, message me on Facebook Messenger, email me, hissyfitreptiles at gmail.com, whatever, I don't care. Um, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about in that Ozzy Boyd's unboxing, I mentioned that I needed to confirm something with Ozzy before I wanted to basically confirm it with you guys and tell you guys, and I did. I, I messaged him and I talked to him about it and so that su the high intensity super orange dream fire spider okay so that snake i didn't realize that that was a specific snake that unbeknownst to me at the time i had been looking at that same exact snake since he posted pictures of it way back when he produced it so the reason why i didn't know is because initially it was labeled as a super orange dream fire spider yellow belly again super orange dream Fire Spider Yellow Belly. He said at that time he didn't know that there was anything going on with a high intensity line of Orange Dream or that he had done gotten anything with this, this high intensity. And if you want to know more about the high intensity line of Orange Dream stuff, check out my interview I did with him. Uh, I believe it was last fall. Um, it was a really cool video. Um, I, I didn't. I don't think I posted it until earlier this year though. But a really cool video. Uh, he kind of goes into depth about what high intensity orange dreamline is and then like how how that affects things well he said that uh, he thought there was yellow belly in it it was no yellow belly it was actually it was because it was a high intensity orange dreamline that made it look that intense uh, so again me not knowing that I had pictures of that snake on every phone I've had every laptop I had uh, that that snake was like inspired I wanted to make that snake that that was like okay I gotta make that snake and obviously that wasn't for sale. He had produced it and he's keeping it for breeding stock and whatever. And so I, I had gotten an orange dream fire spider. I have an orange dream yellow belly female. I tried pairing those together to hopefully make that snake. And obviously um, odds of making it are pretty slim. On top of it, I only got four eggs. And I, I, I think I got like an orange dream fire, an orange dream fire yellow belly maybe. And then I got uh, like a spider and a normal. I'm like, wow, really crap odds on that. But, um, didn't end up producing anything with it. I don't, I no longer have the Orange Dream Fire Spider. But when I got this female, I, I looked, well, even the pictures, when he sent me pictures of her, I didn't really realize it at first neither. And then when I got her in and looked at the pictures again, and I looked at that picture, and I'm like, God, the markings are just too exactly similar in the same exact spots for it to not be that same exact snake. So I, I messaged Ozzy, and uh, like I said, I kind of had an idea from the pictures that he had sent me, 
But once I actually got it in, I, I wanted to confirm it with him, and sure enough, it was that exact same snake. So what's cool about that is that snake has kind of been a piece of my history, or a piece of this ball python industry history, anyways. But for me, I was like, wow, you know, I actually own one of the snakes that I wanted to produce when I saw pictures of it way back in 2012, 2013, whenever it was. You know, and, and maybe a lot of things have changed in the ball python industry now as far as what combos and morphs and stuff are hot and what's not and all that kind of stuff. But that specific snake, along with a whole bunch of other cool stuff that was produced around that same time frame, just really was one of the snakes that resonated with me as far as like, I gotta make that, I gotta get that somehow. And now, I own that exact same snake, it's in my collection now, and uh, yeah, she's, she's probably never gonna go anywhere else ever again. Uh, really excited to have her in there. Again, to me, it's kind of like owning a piece of history. He said right out, it was one of his original super orange dreams in his collection. So um, it's like an orange dream original of his, and now it's here. So really, really cool, excited about that. Um, but I also got you know big plans for like the Pastave Clown and all the snakes that I showed you guys in that video, in this video. So really excited, just wanted to share that with you. And also, uh, again, don't forget to go on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook, although Facebook kind of sucks because of their algorithm, so half of you probably won't see my posts anyways when I do post it, which I don't post on there very often. I'm almost contemplating deleting it because it sucks so much. Um, but I do usually post on there, and then me as Doug Knacker, I'll usually share my Hissy, Hissy Fit Reptile posts on you know, the Facebook groups and stuff like that. So, so definitely check it out. I'm going to be doing the contest stuff, the giveaway stuff, Patreon, check it out, patreon.com slash hissyfitreptiles. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Um, I'm not going to scam you guys. I'm gonna, I, I've, been doing, I've been updating content on there, exclusive content, more in-depth stuff with people. You get exclusive deals, being a Patreon member and all that kind of stuff. Again, you're not paying me to give you advice or just to talk to me or anything else. You want to talk to me, you message me on Facebook Messenger, you message me. Uh, in an email, um, wherever you can find me to message me, go ahead. You can text me if you can if you find my phone number. Go on my website. My phone number's on there, um, hissyfitreptiles.com. You want to talk to me, you can talk to me free of charge. I'm not going to charge anybody ever for talking to me. I'm just saying that because there's a lot of controversy with Patreon and what it's actually about. If you want to know what my Patreon's about, you can see by going on there. You can ask me questions about it. Um, but you do have a chance to win ball pythons, um, and you get deals. Right now, it's like... I'm running a July special, 25% off. However, you have to have been a member for you know a couple months prior to that. But I've been running specials as well. I'll probably be running a special this fall, celebrating the 10 year anniversary of Hissy Fit Reptiles. So thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed these unboxings. I'll do a collection update probably in August uh, because, of, because of getting those snakes that I got in my in collection from these unboxings. I actually uh, revamped a lot of my collection that I had from before. Uh, just kind of weeding out certain things to make room for some of these other uh, high-end animals that I've been getting and stuff like that. So, so some of my big females are gone, some of my breeder males are gone, some of the babies I was planning on keeping are gone, but I brought in those snakes and then I think this is a lot better overall what I'm going to be making. Alright, thanks for watching you guys, I appreciate you guys' time, hope you enjoyed, take care.